So there's my gun. She'll fire uh, Staples or Brad and Ellie things. So um, I've got to run the airline out here, of course, forward and uh, pop this bag of screen thingy open here. I bet you it's just going to go explode everywhere. So holy crap. It's probably got a couple of wires holding it together, but uh, it's going to be everywhere. I can tell you that probably right now. But uh, let's get the air run out, get some staples on this, and uh, we'll get making some freaking mess on this thing. Okay, tube, so they've got wire on this thing like I thought, and it's freaking like spider webbed everywhere. So they must roll her up on something and then just wire the snot out of her to, to keep her from going, you know, exploding everywhere. So I got my uh, freaking cutters here, I'm going to start going at her. And I'll get her open up here and see, I uh, probably should have gloves on, I bet you I'll get some on soon. Because uh, wire and fingers and stuff don't mix too well, you know, sharp ends and stuff. These are actually for cutting sheet metal, but it's working. They got like the serrated thingies, right? Let me just show you this spider webby thing here quickly. So you can see like the star pattern they do and then they run a thing down the, the seam, eh? So I'm just going to cut all that off and uh, we'll get her exploding here on us, I bet you. Well, there's the. Seriously, it's not even her this time. Um, there's the first sheet in there. Uh, we just uh, gonna have to overlap a bit, I guess, because she's just uh, like a little bit too short. Because I wanted to run her up the sides a bit too, eh? Of course, you can't see that with the board in the way. You know, so I'll show you the little staples here too. Oh, they're so cute. So they go in the gun here, of course, and. Uh, that thing just pops open. Grab yourselves a freaking thing of them, and they just go, I think, up top here. Something like that. And then you close her shut. Something. Uh -huh. Could need two hands, I guess, too. Can't do her all in one, so hang on a sec. There we go. We find try to find the center. Well, I definitely need two hands for this job. But I'll we'll fire one here anyways. Oh, missed. Hmm. This isn't going to be much fun, maybe. There we go. Got that one in. What the heck? Piece of junk. Oh, there we go. That'll work pretty good, I think. So, 10 million more of those, a good thing I got a freaking pack of 5,000. Uh, 5,000 in there, yeah, that'll last a while, so. Oh boy, that's scary. Someone else is pointing the thing at me. Seriously? Who else could it be, eh? Other than vlogging life. Well, there you go. So, I'll have to talk to him, so. Hey, Billy, how you making out on that thing you're doing? You know that thing? That's gonna hold the little rodents. How you make it out on that? On that cage thing. And uh, the first one that breaks out, you gonna name them Houdini? Cause you know they're gonna break out. Come on, they're shifty little bastards. They're gonna break out. Come on, come on. You know it. You better be good at fabricating, buddy, cause uh, you're gonna have some little chippies breaking out. I, I I can already see it now. I can already see it now. Oh, today's a weird day, dude. Look, it's like all cloudy and shit and. 
sun's trying to come in over there and it's not working well and it's like it was raining 15 minutes ago but now the, the rain all de dehydrated away and stuff and yeah man the weather should be cocked welcome to the great white north eh oh wait it's not white welcome to the great green north eh yeah anywho good luck on building your uh, your rodent cage hopefully hopefully your rodents stay caged in and don't escape and you know go run amok so frig yeah i'm out hey well tubes there's the bottom and you wouldn't believe there's a whole strip of staples in that wanted her down pretty good you know and uh you know sometimes you don't get her uh smashed down right in the right spot so you gotta fire another one in so holy crap but uh Really? I just turned the camera on? Like seriously? Anyhow, I guess we'll do like a start the roll and then you know, oh bam, oh bam, oh bam down the side and then we'll just do like a wrap around thing and uh, freaking tighten her on kind of thing as we're going and you know, we'll whack another one in and uh, I'm gonna need two layers I guess because it's three feet so that's, yeah, that's six ish anyway so freaking right. But uh, then we got a door to build. Somewhere we gotta put a door in it so to get them in and out and stuff, right? So, yeah, uh, let's get wrapping. Right on, we got her started, so let's get it some more rolled out here. Bring you freaking crap, I'll tell you. Trying to keep her somewhat even, too, eh? So, you know, you know. through my thumb yet. Hasn't been far off, but... Ah, missed. There we go. So that's that wrap, and uh... Mmm, I see a problem. I see a problem. This, uh, well, I guess I can just nail it right down to there. Oh, well, we'll look at that after, but uh, let's wrap around this end now. And hope I'm gonna have enough. We'll a 50 foot roll. Frig. Well, there's the first wrap around, and I uh, have to go around and reinforce it after. You know, I haven't done any of the sides and stuff here. They're still flopping, so. But we got to find somewhere to put that door in, too. But I got a little screwy up here, I guess. I must not have had her quite straight, but ended up having four deweys higher than where I started, so. That's alright, though. She'll still work. Still covering everything, so. Got to get her bang right on, I guess, when you start, eh? So I didn't have her quite perfect, so. I don't know whether I'm going to do another wrap, maybe probably another wrap around this way, or yeah, I was thinking maybe going up over top, but I think that'll work probably better, so, but uh, lunch is here, we got to eat. Okay, tubes, tag team effort coming here. I need like 18 hands, so.
Well, we got a cut of board here, so I figured, why not, eh? Use a pole saw. crap and there we go we're mostly mostly done and that took up that entire roll I've got nothing left except that little piece there for the door for the door <laughs> and that might not even be enough I don't know we might have to figure something else out here or get another little piece or something but you know I could probably get I got a lot overlapped here so you know I could cut a hunk off of there I guess too really it doesn't need to be that that big but uh yeah, maybe we'll have to do that. I don't know. Get a little bit better, more back, but pretty well one roll did her. So this is actually the end of the roll here where she was, you know, where it was bent around the thingy, right? So actually, uh, yeah. So wow, that's amazing though. 50 foot roll, three feet wide. Okay, tube. So we caught something in the trap already, but I think the door's not ready, so I might get out. Uh oh. oh. Look at, how did she get in there? There's like room to spare. Really? Just, 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 just like that, eh? <laughs> what about you? Ouch. You got nailed, didn't you? <laughs> Sharp stuff, eh? Got me too. It's the only one, though. But it's like all like puffy and stuff and... Oh, there we go. Look at that, eh? Nice. But, uh, you gonna try to get in there? No. No, no, Lord, that's good. We gotta tip it up now. Well, I guess that's it for today, Tubes. Uh, we got her pretty much done. I got to uh, get a couple of hinges and make that door on the side kind of thing. So, um, But that's enough of that today. I haven't done any stuff out in the cemetery today. So I got to go do some mowing somewhere out there. And uh, got to keep up to that, eh? You can't let that get ahead of you. So big job. Especially when you just get a blast of rain and then it just starts growing like crazy, you know. But um, anyways, I think she'll do. Looks decent, I think, to me, so she'll uh, get a door done on it. And like I say, i got to get a couple of hinges for it, too, right? And a, lot of, a little latcher thingy, too, maybe, eh, so, to, to hold it closed. So, well, I'll make another trip to the depot there, probably, hmm, maybe tonight. Kids are in judo, and they do two classes, so we get date night, a couple hours off, you know? So, we'll maybe go run do that, and uh, we'll finish that up, and then uh, give it a test run. Stuff them in there and see, you know, watch them run up and down the diff four different levels. So I think they'll, I think they'll like it. It'd be pretty awesome. They actually almost have a level for each each squirrel now. <laughs> Test them their own level. So uh, yeah. So I guess uh, we'll say good day for now. I don't know how long this video ended up being, but probably a few minutes anyway. So anyways, uh, we'll talk at you later and have a good freaking day. Mmm, look, tubes fresh off the campfire hamburgers. Cooked on nice uh, freaking uh, dried up maple wood. Good stuff. G'day tubes. Bill's T Max here. I'd love to give you a shout out on the freaking YouTube TV. So if you'd like to uh, send your uh, freaking letter to this address, blue loop, and we'll get you uh, a nice shout out on the on the show and uh, just keep in mind we're gonna read this uh, stuff out, everything except your personal addresses and stuff and uh, and uh, yeah, so send her out and uh, Frig will get you on the show. Friggin' right.